put the pause on arguing over a dude. Welcome to Mother Daughter Connections, the show dedicated to educating, encouraging, and equipping moms to build lasting, meaningful connections with their daughters. I'm your host and mother daughter relationship personal trainer, Dr. Michelle Deering. My heart is to be of help to you. I believe that your relationship with your mom is the foundation for your future success, personally, parentally, and professionally. Now remember, even though I'm a licensed psychologist, I'm not your shrink on this show. I am, however, here to share my opinions and those of my guests. If you have concerns about your mental health, please seek services from a mental health provider in your local area. Now join me as we pause to consider today's topic. Has your daughter stopped talking to you the way she used to? Well, that could be for any number of reasons. Maybe something was said or not said, or maybe something was done or not done. Or maybe you both just got your wires crossed. Whatever the reason, there are definite research-based principles that you can use to get your daughter talking to you again. And I've put those principles in my Get Your Daughter Talking Now online course. It's a self-paced, three-module, step-by-step program that you can use to fix the lines of communication between you and your daughter, regardless of her age. Just go to www.getyourdaughtertalkingnow.com to start rebuilding your relationship today. And if you've already purchased the program, awesome. Just make sure that you share the link with your mom friends so that they can get in on the healing. The link again is www.getyourdaughtertalkingnow.com. Now let's hop into today's episode. Well, hi there and welcome. I am always excited when we get to spend time together. So thank you so much for joining me here today. I also want to thank you for uh, indulging me last week with my rant about the use of the word trauma in reference to female friendships. I just really want you to know that if you're experiencing difficulties in your female friendships, I don't see it as drama. I see it as just being something that's difficult, that is occurring in your life, and it's very upsetting to you. So today, I want to take some time to share with you some of my thoughts and insights about what is likely at the root of female friendship difficulties. And hopefully it'll get your bearings a little bit about what it is that you can do next to address things. One of the things that really, really saddens me, and it actually maddens me at times, is when I see women who are at odds with each other or mean to each other or unsupportive of each other, either individually or as a group. (laughs) That's kind of one of my little pet peeves, given my background, which you can read more about in my book, What Mothers Never Tell Their Daughters. But when it comes to difficulties in female friendships, I don't believe those things happen out of the blue. In my work with women for the last 30 plus years, both mothers, daughters, all the way from tweens all the way up to adult years, I found that when trouble arises in female friendships that involve three women, it's usually because of five reasons. And that's what I'm going to share with you today. The five reasons drama happens in female friendships. And in doing that, I'm going to take this opportunity with you to reclaim and reshape the use of the word D-R-A-M-A in order to provide you with some thoughts to pause to consider as to what might be going on in your female friendships. So here are the five reasons. The first reason as to why there might be difficulties going on in your friendship has to do with disappointment. The experience of disappointment occurs when someone has communicated or not communicated an expectation or a hope, a desire, a want or a need. And then that expectation, hope, desire, want or need is not met in a particular way and or at a particular time. And what I found is that working through female friendship difficulties can get very complicated when those expectations, hopes, wants, needs are not being clearly communicated. So clear communication is going to be key to address this. And what I found instead is that the friend who's disappointed has really assumed that the other person knew, would know, or worse, should have known what those expectations, hopes, desires, needs, or wants might have been. 
that last one that they should have known is a doozy to work with. And that's what I help moms and daughters with or adult women who are in and experiencing difficulties in their female friendships. The second reason as to why difficulties might be occurring in your female friendships has to do with rifts. Now, I referenced my book, What Mothers Never Tell Their Daughters. Well, in that book, I cover three core reasons why rifts happen in mother-daughter relationships. Now, I believe that your relationship with your mom is the foundation for your future success personally, professionally, and parentally, because much of your early learning about relationships actually starts in your relationship with your mom in the early years. And when you branch out from her, though, into other female relationships, rifts can occur because of some disagreement at some level. Now, a disagreement happens when there's a change or an impasse regarding something that was once communicated and expressly agreed upon or mutually understood. The thing about disagreements, though, is that it can occur either between people or within a person. Did you know that you can actually disagree with yourself? (laughs) It sounds kind of weird, but in the field of psychology, when that kind of internal disagreement is happening, they call it someone having an experience of cognitive dissonance, or sometimes they describe it as being intrapsychically dystonic to someone. So for instance, if you really think that you are looking really beautiful, that day, you're thinking it because you see yourself in a suit, but on the inside, you feel like crap. Right there, you're having a cognitive dissonance experience in that moment. The two things are not lining up. So that's what it means to have a rift (laughs) within yourself. In either scenario, just know that it's important to identify with your friend what the original agreement was so that it can actually be accurately and appropriately addressed. Now, the third reason for what might be affecting your female friendship and causing difficulty has to do with attention. Who doesn't want attention, especially from those who you care about or who you want to care about you, right? Now, when you have a friendship involving three female friends, difficulty can start to happen when one person starts to feel like she's not getting attention from the friend she was first connected to in that trio. And those feelings can arise whether or not the experience of not being or not having someone's attention is actually happening or not. The fact is that they're perceiving what's going on as them not getting the attention that they either want, desire, or need at that time. And this is where the first two reasons I mentioned, the disappointments and rifts, can factor in. Someone experiences disappointment, which can then fuel the disagreements. And if those disagreements are not addressed, then that can start to snowball. So you want to make sure that if you get any indication from your friends in that trio that someone is not feeling they're getting enough attention, that you address it. Now, the fourth reason for why there might be difficulties occurring in your female friendships has to do with what I'm calling man maneuvering. Man, oh man, oh man. (laughs) You know, the other day, my youngest twin daughter and I were recently watching a YouTube video by someone. It's called Gunner TV Live, where this male host reviews this reality TV show called Tool Academy. Yes, I've watched the show Tool Academy. Um, It's something that my daughter and I do uh, together on a semi-frequent basis, but I just love hearing her chuckle when we're watching the show. So yes, I enter in. I don't get the whole show. I do get it on some level, but we just watch it. It's our little pastime that we do. But besides that, at one point in one of the Gunner TV live episodes, there are he's watching the Tool Academy and there are these two young ladies who are being equally disrespected by their boyfriends, okay? But the two young ladies end up arguing with each other. Now, granted, they were not friends before the show, 
But the Gunner TV Live host, who's a guy, actually makes a very salient observation. And he said, why is it that these girls are arguing with each other instead of getting upset with the guy they're actually dating? And the irony just was not lost on me that this guy would be saying this because it reminds me of countless times I'm a Judge Judy fan when Judge Judy has lamented saying that these women come to court arguing with each other over a guy instead of holding the guy accountable for his actions. Now, I'm chuckling through this, but I really am very serious about this. You know, women, young ladies having difficulties in their friendship relationship over a guy. I've seen this pattern play itself out with some of my mother and daughter clients over the last 30 years when it comes to their female friendship trios. In particular, I've helped daughters, especially if they're in their tween and teen years, that kind of stuff happens. So I get it. That's a difficult situation to be in. But I really want to encourage either our young queens and training young ladies out there listening with their moms. Okay, or moms, if you have your young queen in training experiencing this, I just want to really say put the pause on arguing over a dude. The thing that saddens me about this is that one of the things that contributes to this man maneuvering thing is that our young ladies, our women, even adult women, even though they may not be blatantly verbalizing it, somebody in that trio is actually starting to compare herself or her situation. And then what happens is comments slip out here and there, jokes start happening, snide marks start being made, and then it snowballs from there. So... Now we're at the last, the fifth and final thing that may be occurring and affecting your friendship relationship. That fifth reason has to do with achievement. Now, this difficulty can occur when you've been in your female friendship group and then one person starts making progress towards a goal or may start achieving some personal goals. You find this a lot, say, during the high school years, especially, you know, when it gets to junior year, our young ladies start jockeying in sort of subtle ways about what they may or may not be achieving academically, more than likely what they may be achieving, and they start is like posturing with each other in very subtle ways. And sometimes it's unintentional, but they might give off the air of I'm better. See, I got my stuff together kind of thing. That just gets my goat. It's really unfortunate. We as women need to really model community support for when one person ascends and you know, starts to achieve stuff. Say like, for instance, all the stuff that's going on with Caitlin Clark. And I know that there are people out there who recognize all of her achievements, which have been phenomenal. But then there are others out there in the ether who are degrading and downplaying, saying that she's getting too much and that the pie should be given to other people. Hey, the young lady worked her butt off for many, many years and has positioned herself where she can now start eating the fruit of some of her hard work. We as women need to just applaud her and really surround her with that support. That's just an example. I won't get too much in it. I digress. (laughs) But I believe that these difficulties that happen in female friendships, when someone in the group, in the trio starts achieving things, that can start to brew or erupt when others in the group start feeling jealous. Now, I know Jonas... One of the Jonas Brothers, was it Nick Jonas, (laughs) has, you know, he has said, I still feel jealous. Okay, Um, yeah, it might be a nice song to sing, but I believe that when someone feels jealous, that's because they are not zealous about their own uniqueness. I'm going to say that again. I believe that when someone feels jealous, it's because they are not zealous about their own uniqueness. Jealousy is this thing that is rooted in the dirt of comparison. And it can actually become a weed that chokes the life and the love out of friendship relationships. And while jealousy can get expressed in different ways, I've seen that it really stems from someone being either insecure about aspects of their own personhood or unsure about their innate value validity, and the veracity of their own abilities. 
So there you have it. The five reasons drama happens in female friendships. As a review, they are disagreements, rifts, attention, man maneuverings, and achievements. Now, if you've gained any insight from today's episode or any past episodes of this podcast, could you do me a favor? Could you just go to the review section of the podcast platform that you're listening to, like Spotify or Apple iTunes, and click the five stars real quickly and just jot a note in the comments section. I would greatly appreciate it. I read all of the comments. And if you're part of my email community, which you can join by just emailing me at dr.deering at curativeconnections.com. That's dr. D-E-E-R-I-N-G at curativeconnections.com. You'll be added to my email list and become part of my email community. But just leave a quick review. What that does is it actually helps the algorithm get the word out to more moms. So help another mom discover this podcast. I'd greatly appreciate it. Until next time, be encouraged. Healthy mother-daughter relationships are possible. They just take one curative connection at a time. I'll see you next week. You've been listening to Mother Daughter Connections with me, your host and mother daughter relationship personal trainer, Dr. Michelle Deering. Thanks so much for joining me today. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss an episode. Share this episode with a friend so they don't miss an episode. And download the resource in the show notes. Until next time, remember to pause to consider how you can connect intentionally so you can improve relationally with your daughter.